mum and dad and Denny saw the passing out parade at Pakapunyu. It was a long march from cadets. Six Battalion was the next to tour and it was me who drew the card. We did Canungra and Shoalwater before we left. And Townsville lined the footpaths as we marched down to the quay. This clipping from the paper shows us young and strong and clean. And there's me in me slouch hat with me SLR and greens. God help me. I was only 19. From Vung Tau riding Chinooks to the dust at Nui Dad. I'd been in and out at Choppers now for months. We made our tents a home VB and pinups on the lockers and an Asian orange sunset through the scrub. And can you tell me, Doctor, why I still can't get to sleep? And night time's just a jungle dark and a parking M16. And what's this rash that comes and goes? Can you tell me what it means? God help me. I was only 19. Four week operation when each step could mean your last one on two legs. It was a war within yourself. But you wouldn't let your mates down till they had you dusted off. So you closed your eyes and thought about something else. And then someone yelled out, Contact! And the bloke behind me swore. We hooked in there for hours. Then a god almighty roar. And Frankie kicked to mine the day that mankind kicked the moon. God help me. He was going home in June. Frankie drinking tinnies in the Grand Hotel on a 36 hour wreck leave in Van Tau. And I can still see Frankie lying screaming in the jungle till the morphine came and killed the bloody row. And the Anzac legends didn't mention Martin blood and tears. And the stories that my father told me never seemed quite real. I caught some pieces in my back that I didn't even feel. God help me. I was only 19. And can you tell me, doctor, why I still can't get to sleep? And why the Channel 7 chopper chills me to my feet? And what's this rash that comes and goes? Can you tell me what it means? God help me. I was only 19. It's just that we're, we're so screwed up psychologically now and we're not getting any help from anyone. Government, people in the streets, anything. We're just arseholes. Because we went to friggin' Vietnam. I just heard a pit of patter of little feet coming down the track. But they sounded like big feet. I was just on daylight and I saw a few figures and I just let it rip and I blew away a few people. But I should have waited or I should have yelled out, but I didn't know what to yell out, so I just let it rip. And there's three people dead now that shouldn't be dead. I know 
whether it's through my stupidity or over anxiousness or under training or just being psyched up. It was a game there. But when I went out and saw that they, were, they weren't there no more, they were just lumps of flesh. And it's a woman, a baby, a little kid. And they're gone, gone for good. Now what am I, in the wrong or in the right or what? And I've been living with that for 15 years. You say something to someone, they say you're an arsehole. You shouldn't have gone there. I was 19 years old and I was sent there. If I'd have said, no, I'm not going. When I was 20 years old, I'd have been sent there anyway because of national script, you know, conscription. So before, I, just after I was 20 years old, I blew away three people. For what? Nothing then. Not a bloody brass rose who. All my mates had been blown away, lost limbs, and nothing. We're just shit. <laughs>